Hello, David Barron here. I'm here to talk with you about how to be a really good hypnosis subject. Now, uh, being a good hypnosis subject has its benefits. It means you get some really, really dramatic results in a very short amount of time. It makes it easier for the hypnotist to do their job, but it also makes it more enjoyable for you. I'm going to go through four specific things you can do to be a really good hypnosis subject. Number one, you are there for a reason. Figure out your reason. For some people, they may just want to know what it's like to be hypnotized. That's a great reason. So in other words, bring up your curiosity, bring up your want and desire. For, some, for other people, they have a very specific goal. Maybe they want to quit smoking or they want to deal with anxiety or, or quit drinking to the degree that they were used to. Whatever your reason is, remember that is why you're doing it. This goes right to the core of motivation. If you have really strong motivation, it will help you simply follow the instructions and get a really good result. Number two, follow the instructions. I like to remind people, I, I don't like giving people hypnotic suggestions because I'm, I'm not going to suggest anything to you. I'm going to instruct you what to do. What that means is I tell you what to imagine, what to think about. I ask you to bring up certain feelings. And all of these are part of a formula to give you a result. They're direct instructions. So just follow them. That means don't overthink it. Just as you hear the instruction, imagine that it's absolutely real. Number three, going back to follow the instructions, don't overthink it. I mean, I understand that if you haven't done hypnosis before, there probably is a little bit of hesitation, curiosity, a little nervousness. I get that a lot. That's okay. It simply means you're going to pay attention. I definitely need you to pay attention. But don't overthink it. The instructions I give are very simple. <laughs> like close your eyes, go back in time to a time when you experienced this particular problem or you experienced this particular strength or resource and put yourself there in that moment. They're very specific instructions. Don't wonder if you're doing it right, just do it. Some of the things I notice is when I ask people to nod their head, there is a very specific way they should nod their head, which is just like this. And it's not like where they shrug and they go, eh, maybe I got it right. If you get close to nodding your head with a shrug and a half tilted head, eh, you're not doing it right. Go back, follow the instructions. And the fourth thing that you can do is very simply, as I explain something, Imagine as though it's absolutely real. Now, all of this is happening in your mind. It's happening in your imagination. Some people, I, I completely understand that some people cannot perfectly visualize something, but that's not what imagination means. It means if you can't visually see something in your mind's eye, that's okay. You can imagine the experience. You can, you know, bring up the feelings or the sensations or, or the sounds or the thoughts. What you're trying to do is create the experience in your mind. So those are the four things that you can do to be a really good hypnosis subject. One, know your reasons for being there. Two, follow the instructions. Three, don't overthink. And four, imagine as though it's absolutely real. That will give you the most dramatic and the most positive result that you can get. I hope this has been helpful. If you're interested in doing hypnosis, of course, you can contact me. I'd love to help you. I've been doing this for quite some time. If you are interested in being a hypnotist, I want to give you my encouragement. And of course, you can contact me as well. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call me. Thank you so much.